What's up guys, Z1 Joe here. Today we're messing with Mark's A60 Titan. We're gonna throw a little catch can on there. Yeah, we're filming an install. Are you guys seriously over there filming your own install? I'm filming an install. We're trying to film this install. Go, let's run uppers. Nice. We're filming a catch can. Less fun. All right, we're gonna get those bolts off, set them somewhere we won't lose them. You get this factory PCV hose going from your valve cover to your intake, and then on your driver's side over here, going from your valve cover to your intake. So these are the ones we're gonna be taking off when we get our pliers, and then throwing the catch can kit on. Uh, let me get on there. Try to be careful with these guys. Last thing you want to do is break off one of these plastic barbs. Yeah, you can see some oil here. Showing that you are getting some blow by. So just getting the banjo bolts lined up on our catch can. Uh, just gonna leave these loose so we can still clock it later and get it bolted onto our hoses. Um, got the outlet. Get back over to my pile of stuff here. And get my other banjo bolts and crush washers out. That's nice. Throw it on there. We'll sit that guy aside. Hmm. Bit more work required, I guess. I'm just gonna keep pushing on all the aftermarket hoses, just kind of going in. Should be going in a specific order, but unfortunately I'm not. Um, using the supplied hose clamps. Just get my hose dump pliers, just getting them back on there. Squeezing them enough. And getting it over. Nice and clocked up. And then this one's gonna use another T. So I just got this guy on. Push him into this push lock. We have our T here. This one's gonna go with this guy as well. Toss him down there. So he'll go to our can. And then we'll finish putting the ones that go from the valve covers. There. For a catch can. So our catch can's gonna sit right in this area. So these guys go. So I just gotta get one last hose in from this guy. Over to the other side of the valve cover. This is your long boy. Where does this one go? This guy's gonna snake up around this entire setup. He'll go down to there once I get the banjo on. And then this guy goes right up here. we use WD-40. I'm gonna get my clamp on the other side. Just putting it on this one now. Now we got all of our hoses routed, going over where the catch can would go. Um, if you have an engine cover, you can toss it back on now. This kit's designed to work with the engine cover, but it will also work if you don't have the engine cover. Just use the taller supplied spacers. Come back raw mitts, looks good. Shove down, and we'll get our supplied bolts and standoffs to go in these two holes here. So, as I'd mentioned, if you don't have an engine cover, you're gonna use the longer standoffs. But if you have the engine cover, then the shorter standoffs are what you're gonna use. This is where our catch can will bolt. That's for an extra one of the holes um, for when you're taking the bottom off your catch can so you can check your oil and drain it. Um, then we have our nice flathead washers with our countersunk, or flathead screws with our countersunk washers. Just gives it a really nice look. It's gonna be on top of the engine bay. You're gonna be seeing it. And we got the short spacers to go right underneath it. And I'm just gonna loosely thread it in on this side. 
And then start it on this side. Uh, Z1 was nice enough to give us a 2.5 millimeter drive screw. And we got a little catch can hardware in there. Now I'll get that situated correctly. Then we can loosely get a top banjo. Yeah. I'll get that and wrangle it up to there. Just take my word that I got that bottom one on. Um, we had to do it off camera. It was a little bit of a wrestle into there. But this top one, let me get on there, shove it through. So now we're on there. All right, tight. And that's all there is to installing the A60 catch can. Uh, you can shop now at z1offroad.com for all your aftermarket and OEM needs.